Welcome back to CBS Mornings. A recent report highlights the shocking growth of child labor around the world. It shows between 2016 and 2020, the number of working children rose for the first time in two decades to 160 million. In Africa, more than one in five children works. In the West African country of Ghana, Deborah Pata saw kids working in the fishing industry under very troubling conditions. The beauty of Lake Volta is deceptive. These are troubled waters. Thousands of children are fishing here. Some work in the family business. Many have been sold into modern day slavery. Godwin labored on this lake for five years. Orphaned at 10, he was entrusted into the care of a man who promised to send him to school. I, I didn't know that I was going to fish. And at first, he didn't know how to swim. Inside the water, they said the place is deep. Maybe it's that Very place deep. Is, yeah, deep. So I'm afraid to go down. If he refused, he was beaten. I was afraid. I, I was thinking, you know, I don't know where my life will end. That, uh, so I was there and I said, let me run away. Eventually, he did escape, saved by Wallace, who works undercover and has rescued over 150 children for an international charity. We went out on the lake to see for ourselves. Rickety vessels filled with kids, adept at unraveling the fine mesh, and when those nets snag on submerged tree branches, they're forced to dive deep into the murky waters to untangle them. Adult work made easier by exploiting agile bodies and tiny hands. The eldest here claims the nine-year-old boy on this boat is his brother. How come the two brothers don't speak the same language? That's what I'm telling you, that's something, the language barrier. You see? Something yeah. odd. Yeah. It's a red flag. Another little boy, believe it or not, called Freedom. Freedom? Where, where's your mom? He too is from far away and speaks a completely different language to the others on the boat. Within the space of half an hour, we've already come across four boats in which there could be potential trafficking. Do you see this often? Yeah, we see this often. So, but when we see that, we come back to do our underground investigation. Wallace gathers intel from sources in Freedom's village. Weeks later, he confirms the child had been trafficked, but it was too late to rescue him. He'd been moved, a tactic slave owners use to evade arrest. During this entire time, we haven't seen a single official from either the police or the Navy who is supposed to be patrolling this water. And so, children are easy prey. Why do you think there is so much trafficking in this area? It's due to poverty. And poverty is all around us here, desperate, extreme, persistent. It's not just boys who are trafficked. These sisters were snatched near their family home, only recently rescued. Their eyes tell of horrors they could not speak out loud. Warnings of trafficking abound, but they're not a deterrent, as we found out from this slave owner turned informant. How much did you pay for a child? Uh, 500 Ghana That's about $80. But it's a human life. You, you bought a child. Is that not slavery? Uh, uh, That's how it is, he shrugs. Over 25 years, he's bought thousands of children. What's the worst thing you ever did as a slave owner? Forcing a kid who doesn't know how to swim to dive to the bottom of the lake, he told us. They could go down and never come up. So many children have died here. But there is another dreadful truth to hear. You were sold into slavery? Uh, by my father, he tells us. The child slave has become the master. Godwin refuses to go that route. I wanted to go to school so that I, so, so that I become someone. I didn't want to do fishing work. He harbors no bitterness towards his abuser. He has to be punished, but I forgive him. How are you able to forgive him, Godwin? Such a hard time. The unearned forgiveness of a boy whose childhood was stolen on this lake. Maybe this time 
the cycle has been broken. For CBS Mornings, Deborah Patter, Lake Volta, Ghana. Unearned forgiveness is a very good way to describe it. I can't get over hearing that the slave owner was also trafficked himself as a child. You would think that that would be the last thing he would want to do to others since he knows how horrible it is. Children, they are the purest form of humanity. Exactly. We have to protect them at all costs. 160 million in that form of slavery, and you see the resilience if you can get them out of it. Yes. Deborah Pata for us, a powerful story there.